What's happening peeps and peep heads? Hope you guys are having an awesome day. In this video we are going to cover the Temporal Destroyer Tier 6. Uh, that one is from the Lobby store if you guys um, are willing to obtain one on yourself. Um, so we are going to take a closer look at all of the information that Cryptic has provided us, uh, the customization, the visuals, the comparison to another uh, uh, science ship, and after that we are going to take this thing into combat. So uh, right away I'm noticing something that uh, usually Cryptic, or usually uh, the designers of Cryptic have like a backstory to this thing, to the ships, that one is lacking in this one. So the information that they provided us is, is goes right away to Klein class. And this uh, minor temporal destroyer comes equipped with the um, enhanced Mannheim device universal console. Can, this console is based on Paul uh, Mannheim's time, uh, time gravity work in the early mid 24th century. His experiment caused ripples in time, uh, now called the Mannheim uh, effect. The Manaheim uh, device console can create a quantum duplicate of itself, one from the past and one for the future. Um, so there is no backstory to uh, this ship and how, it come, and how it comes to be. I mean, I always enjoyed reading that part because it's like, you know, it's really awesome to, 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 to have a little bit of a backstory about these ships. But this one is lacking in that. And... That is not a good thing. Um, you know, attention to details, that is where it counts. And yeah, this one is like, yeah, they missed out a lot on uh, on this on this particular ship. But maybe it's a bug. Maybe they need to fix it. Maybe they need to write it down and they haven't. Maybe we're going to get an update. Who knows what the future might bring. But as it is right now, it's not there. Uh, so I'm just going to continue. This console provide a passive boost to the shield hardness, uh, drain expertise, and control expertise as well. The Manaheim device is part of a set. If you have the Manaheim, uh, the Manaheim uh, device and the Tripler, uh, the Tipler uh, cylinder console equipped, activating temporal backstep will uh, cause all of the nearby foes to freeze in time until the sequence has ended. This can be equipped on any time ship. Uh, this thing also has a uh, unlockable starship trait. So after reaching level five in your temporal destroyer tier six, you will unlock the 1.21 terawatt starship terawatts starship trait. While this trait is slotted, uh, suffering electrical or radiation damage will grant a reduction to the cooldown timers of your captain abilities. Uh, this may trigger only once uh, several seconds. Okay. Sure. Uh, I'm just trying to think who does electrical damage and radiation damage as a foe. I mean, do the Tholians give us like radiation damage, like lingering radiation damage, like damage over time? Also, who does electrical damage? I don't think anybody does electrical damage. Top of my head, but yeah, I don't know. Um, it says here, hull strength is at 33,000. I don't know. That's what it says. <laughs> I think it's, I think it's 33 at level, uh, 450, something like that. Hmm. I don't know. No contest. Uh, shield modifier 1.05. All right. With a crew complement of 250 weapons, a four on the front, a three on the aft, Bridge officer station, we are going to take a closer look uh, later in the video, so I'm going to skip that one. Uh, console modification, 5 tactical, 2 engineering and 4 science. 5 tactical console slots means that this thing is going to dish out a lot of firepower with the traditional, you know, sense of firepower. Um, 4 and 3, definitely awesome. Two for engineering, so survivability might be an issue with this thing. And four for science. Science, you know, you can do lots of science abilities, including healing and, you know, control and stuff like that. So definitely awesome on science and tactical. With a, with a base turn rate of 15 degrees per second with an impulse modifier of 0 0.2. And also comes equipped with an experimental weapon slot. I like that. 
This thing can also equip the dual cannons, plus 15 to weapon power and plus 5 to auxiliary power. That universal console, the enhanced Menaheim device, and has like lots of different uh, registry, name, prefix, option. Also the NCV uh, registry. Um comes equipped with the uh, destroyer mastery package so we got precise weapon system is going to give us accuracy enhanced weapon bank is going to give us critical severity devastating weaponry is going to give us critical chance uh, enhanced weapon system is going to increase our damage Ooh, okay and you take a closer look at that and also that unlockable starship trait uh 1.21 terawatts um that we kind of need to take a closer look in space now after this i'm just going to uh, open this pack make it my current ship and head over to the customization of this uh customization part of this video and uh, we'll take it from there so here we go with the customization uh this things look like a beast man i love the uh, colors that they're actually using on this thing wow this is awesome I like the design that they did. They did a really good job. Um, yeah, this thing is like slick. Now, this is the Federation version of these things. Now, obviously, there is the same for the uh, Klingons and the Romulans. And uh, wow, this thing is awesome. We're definitely going to take a closer look at the Klingons and the uh, Romulan version of these destroyers. But that's going to be a separate video right now. Just the. Uh, just we're going to take a like, you know, we're going to focus our attention on this one. This one is called the Klein. Oh, there are different uh, window types. Uh, OK, I'm not seeing anything change. Maybe it's up here. Can you reset? There we go. So you guys can have a closer look at the windows. I think just only this part is going to change, but let's see. Yeah. So we got the gray version. Oh, that's not good. The standard. I love the black. The Welsh gray. Ooh. Or the Welsh standard. I don't know. I like the uh, clay st uh, Klein uh, standard. The other ones are like meh. Yeah, not liking that. We do. Oh, nice. We have lots of material types that we can choose from. All right, let's. Uh, all right, so this one is the Klein. Uh, the Klein. It's gonna be you know the default skin when you open the pack from the Lobby store. We got the mirror. I love, I love that. Mirror universe. Wow. Okay. That is freaky. I love it. Um, Mobius. Oh, that is cool as well. Oh, that is cool as well. Very nice. And that is definitely something I like. I love these patterns that they put up there. Very nice. Uh, we have material types number one. That is, in my personal opinion, is not doing this ship any good. All right, moving on to material type number two. underneath as well okay material type number three okay okay i'm 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 getting used to this material type number four 
I really love material type number four. It totally changes the layout of the ship. Yeah, baby. Really awesome. All right, number five. Hmm. All right, number six. Number six kind of remind me of the veteran. The veteran material types are a little bit like slick, but it's kind of has like the same design like this. That whitish glow. Real nice. I love I love this particular combination though with the with the red and the what is this like bluish, greenish, blackish color that they used, depending if there is sunlight hitting it or not. Wow, very nice. So we got seven. Oh, I like that one as well. That is cool. Yeah, I like this one. Very nice. Somebody did a really good job on the material types. All right, what do you got? The upgraded version. Wow. Look at this. Very slick, very slick in its design. Hmm. All right, we got the uh, Vern class. So this is basically the other uh, video that I did, also can be found on the channel. And the veteran, wow, nice, good job there. Really awesome, good job. Good job, Cryptic. Uh, on this, on this particular material type is really beautiful, I love it. Man, I wish I could do a review on this ship looking like that. Uh, and the Welsh, the Welsh class ship. Hmm. I'm going to leave it at a default because it's kind of like the most epic color that in that I uh, choose from all of the different material types. Now, obviously, you can do like a pattern. Wait a minute, there are two different hole. Are you guys seeing this? So we got two different hole types. That is awesome. I think this is the the old uh, the whole number number whole number zero, I guess, of type zero, and we got type two. That's the newer version, and this thing is. I think this one is the uh, old uh, Mobius temporal destroyer. I don't own the the tier five version of this thing, so I don't really know. I'm just guessing right here. But this thing is a type 2 and we are going to leave it like that. Now I am going to change the appearance of this thing just a little bit just to show you guys uh, what kind of customization can be done. Uh, red and blue. So you guys can see a little bit, maybe not red, maybe just green. So you guys see this part can be changed, this part can be changed, can be colored. This as well, very nice. Even though I am like not doing this ship any justice by, you know, randomly selecting colors. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's the um, that's the customization. Let me, let me go into space and uh, see how this ship is going to compare against the Lucari scout ship. All right, so we are in space. You guys can see for yourself the uh, profile of these ships in comparison to the Lucari ship, let me just move a little bit, 
Oh, that's too much. There. How uh, big this ship is in compared to the Lucari on the left right here, the science ship. I should say they're basically the same. Yeah, no changes there. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, these are basically the same ship in its, you know, in its size. All right. Um, enough with the, comp uh, the uh, comparison right here. Let me go and uh, start equipping all of the different visuals in my new uh, location that you guys saw, probably saw on the other video as well. Uh, let me know if you enjoyed that one or do you want me to just stick to my current um, favorite spot right here at that uh, support station. So here we go in space. Um, I listened to you guys' um, comments uh, related to the other video. You guys found the uh, Wolf 359 a little bit too dark. So on this video, I'm actually using the uh, Voth map right here, the space uh, part. And uh, thank you for that, everybody who commented on the previous video. So, um, yeah, just live and learn, I say. <laughs> but anyway, um, this is how it looks with, you know, coming out of the box. Uh, no modification done to the uh, customizations. Because all of the changes that I did, I kind of like pressed cancel. So um, this is like a really bright map, map for, for my personal taste. But, you know, just something different. I'm letting you guys um, see something else on my channel. So we are going to start this uh, visuals with the adapted uh, Mako. Well, that one is one, two, and a three. All right, so the adapted Mako right here. Now, actually, uh, to be honest, to be honest completely with you guys as well, uh, I actually made this video like yesterday. Um, and I'm actually having to do it uh, again. Because, uh, like, you know, s some of you guys didn't actually enjoy it and uh, you wrote a comment, so thank you again for that. Uh, just, you know, l letting me know, like, heads up, we don't really like this dark map, it's too dark. And uh, so I'm actually cutting my video and putting this part in. Uh, all of the other statistics, customization and stuff, I'm going to leave what I did yesterday, just showing this, uh, this part on... Uh, up here because you know if something is not good just let me know comment section like you guys did and I'm going to definitely try to uh, to fix the problem uh, next is going to be the Aegis here we go with the Aegis space set Uh, the sound is a little bit... Oh, there we go. Ah, uh, third is good. The uh, environment sound was a little bit off. But now it's good. So the edges right here on you guys' screen. This temporal destroyer, I mean, it's it's a tier six ship, six uh, ship, and it's if you compare it to the other one, it's kind of like scary looking. I mean, if you can compare the two side by side, I mean. All right, uh, the assimilated Borg. You can actually see that I've progressed the ship a little bit because, uh, <laughs> yeah, I took this thing in combat and having to redo this part is, yeah, it's a little bit time consuming, to be honest. 
but you know if thing doesn't if things doesn't go the way I should have done I just you know um would love you guys to comment and saying well this was wrong and this was uh, awesome on your video because um you know the feedback is really important let me know like you know this is you know the quality we're not uh, used to expect from you in your channel and uh, if that changes i would definitely enjoy it for for you guys to uh, to let me know let me uh, let me in on like hey this isn't right cuz this is not something what we uh we uh we come to um to take for granted for 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 a long time on your channel and now you're like changing the quality that's uh, not good but just you know something i guess uh that needed to be said from you guys to me so i could come up with something else and um I would also love if you guys <laughs> started commenting on this map as well. Um, for me personally, this map is a little bit too bright. There isn't really, you know, good uh, darker area. But that's for you guys to decide. Uh, next is going to be the counter command. Uh, is it this one? Yes. Cool. The counter command visuals. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this in my previous recording, but uh, if you want to own this thing, it's about 900 Lobi from the Lobi store. Um, and the map is being really weird right now, as this lines coming through it all right uh yeah as i said 900 low buy from the low buy store uh you can also grab this thing from the exchange if you want to uh the prices should be around 300 million for a low buy ship and if it's not you it's best to uh to wait a couple of days uh the prices should normalize uh, during that so yeah those are the two ways you can obtain this thing and I definitely um, uh, let's do the Delta first uh, Delta 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 and I would definitely recommend um, this over the uh, science ship even though that doesn't make sh uh, really good sense, because the science ship is like a um, is like an infinity lockbox, so by that it should be like you know more valuable than this. Um, the reason why I'm actually saying that that is like after the recording, I was looking at it, and I was like, this is a science ship, right? So it has a three three, and I'm talking about the Vern right now, the Vern um, temporal. Uh, ship um, that ship doesn't have like hangar bay uh, I was I was looking at that and I was like okay so this is thing uh, this thing is a science ship it has a three weapon uh, three three weapon configuration and it um, doesn't have any doesn't have any hangar bays what is up with that it only had one specialization seat just like this one and I'm still mind blown about it like what is up with that And after that, I was like, okay, but what is up with, like, it doesn't have, like, you know, any other special abilities. Um, next is going to be uh, the Dyson visuals. Yeah, it doesn't have any like special abilities. And by special abilities, I mean like the uh, molecular deconstruction beam, or like I don't know what is what's it called, but it's like the um, the uh, uh, Zenkethi dreadnought carrier has. You know, some kind of like special ability that sets that ship apart from all, all of the other ones. 
Uh, now, obviously, it's a science ship, so it has like you know the um, uh, um, what's it called? The sensor sensor analysis, and also has subsystem targeting. So that's that's okay. That's that's nice. That's that's always good. But that's about it. You know, it's like just a better version of a ship, but nothing special. Because th this one is also like a better version of a different ship like the destroyer tier 5 this is a tier 6 so it is a better version but this one has like that um that um this one has that experimental weapon right or at least the experimental weapon slot so that's that's neat in my in my in my book and um yeah so it's like hmm compared to the two i would say go for this one Even the other one, the the, the Vern, uh, should be like you know higher in price. And this one is something I would recommend for you guys to um, to obtain. Also, the fact because uh, let's go over to the Iconian visuals. Also, the fact that um, a science uh, ship. With you know uh, that's going to deal um, a DPS in a scientific way, <laughs> if you can say it like that, um, tend to be a little bit uh, harder to understand how you can deal DPS through science than the normal conventional beams and torpedoes and cannons uh, with this uh, particular ship, and also because they nerfed science to they nerfed science a lot. I would, you know, my recommendation would be grab this one from the two of them. And also for, um, also what I find weird is they just copy pasted that ship for Klingons and the Romulans. So there isn't anything special about the different factions as well. And I'm talking about the Vern uh, uh, science uh, ship right now, the tier six uh, ship. And it's like weird because, but I'm going to go over that in the other videos, the Klingon and the uh, Romulan one. But I just found it like weird because it doesn't have any, uh, any, any special abilities. I mean, obviously it has that universal console, but that's it. Where's the rest? You know, it's kind of like, hmm. All right, now we got the Jemhead R coming up. One, two, three. But this is just my rant about uh, these two ships. I mean, I am doing like the review about them, but my reviews are mostly because of like the visuals and stuff like that, because I just want to showcase the ship. Um. I don't. I do not want to give recommendations like use this ship for this purpose, and you can deal out lots of DPS this way. Not you know like a build. Um, but it's like it's kind of lacking if you compare it to like you know the um, the current tier six standards. Because like you know you have the sea store ships that are out there. And it's basically just like a sea store ship. There is nothing really good about it. Like if you compare it to like another really good science ship, I would say that is going to be like the um, the Tholian carrier, the Reclus. That one has hangar pets, right? Also a 3-3 configuration. Uh, Nukara is going to be next. Where are you? There. Uh, there. And uh, there. So no hangar bays on, on the Vern. That is just something a Cryptic's uh, development team might need to address. Maybe in a different um, a different patch note. Maybe they can like you know add some hangar bays to that thing. That might be interesting, but but as it is right now, it's not that interesting to uh, to have, or at least from my perspective, 
uh, my perspective is I love carriers, and when they do when, when ships doesn't have like you know the necessary tools. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, if ships doesn't have the necessary tools, it's like, hmm, don't like it. <laughs> All right, so we got the Omega coming up. Uh, that one, uh, this one, and that one. Are you guys liking the Omega visuals? Let me know in the comment section. Um, my personal preference um, right now, or at least yesterday, was the uh, Dyson. Dyson, the, the, the entire white part. Oh, that was so good. And uh, next is going to be the Riemann. Mm -mm. That is one of the Riemann, uh, two of the Riemann, and three. Look at this. It's shiny. <laughs> now, this is a bug, I should say. It should be like this. This is the way the ship should be. But if you remove the uh, status window... It kind of like goes away and it really needs to bring up the status window and I can try to uh, do it like this but can't actually um, minimize it more than this so this is how it looks like with a um, with the Riemann visuals on top kind of is badass though I even like when it is um, just like this with the shiny, <laughs> shiny uh, material types on the on this thing. But this is like an ongoing bug that cryptic still need to fix. All right. Uh, let's continue down the line with the Romulans. So this is the Romulan visuals. Now, I also want to say to you guys, I normally go like, you know, I'm really excited about these visuals and <laughs> on this particular part, I'm just, you know, I'm not saying anything because I am kind of already saw these visuals uh, on the previous recording that I did and I already know what to expect kind of uh, situation. Uh, temporal is going to be next. You can also see like all of my um, all of my space sets are lined up neatly, <laughs> and that has to do because I already did the this part of the recording, and this is the uh, temporal, and it's like it still is fresh in my memory, so I kind of know um, how these ships are uh, turn out. With the new visuals, or at least not with the new visual, the visuals on top. So I'm, I am definitely excited about them, but not so much that I want to, you know, um, want to express my uh, enthusiast enthusiasm about them, <laughs> if that makes sense. All right. 
right, next one is gonna be the Terran visuals. Come here. Terran. 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 The, um... I also mentioned this in the previous recording. Um, the design kind of looks like the Decora, right? The the Ferengi warship, because it has those those similar lines, but not entirely the same, obviously. But it does has the same shape, though. Kind of like that part. Alright, next in line is going to be the Breen. Uh, this one. Uh, that one. And this one. This is the Breen visuals. Kind of like the Breen visuals on this thing, to be honest. Look at that. This is just, almost awesome. I do enjoy the engine wig though from the Breen. No other um, engine have these uh, as an animation to the uh, to the engine trail or engine wake. A really blue color. That's really cool. All right, next is going to be the Lucari. Uh, this one, that one, and this one. Oh, that transitional effect on top of this thing. That is really cool. That is definitely really cool. All right, we got next. That is going to be the prevailing regalia space set. And if you guys want to obtain these ships, um, each time I actually change visuals, there is a notification coming down on the top left of your corner explaining where you can obtain these things for yourself and it's not really that hard to do most of them are from reputation so you know reputation gear <laughs> it's really easy to come by these days or at least for me i don't know how you guys earn your reputation uh, marks but i just do red alerts over and over again The time invested and the rewards that you're going to get, especially with the daily bonus, uh, makes it, you know, makes it good. And the red alerts usually go about four or five minutes these days with a with a decent team. So I find that really cool and really fast to uh, to obtain the marks these days. 
Uh, last of the uh, sets is going to be the Bajoran ones. This is one of those sets that I truly do not enjoy. <laughs> but that is just me. It's just, it's just weird. The uh, colors, the um, the way this thing is like put up together. <laughs> I just don't like it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I do like the Bajorans as a species because they were like. A lot of players that actually hated the Bajorans. But I just, you know, I don't mind them. They're, you know, set in their ways. All right, next is the two uh, Vanity Shields. I'm actually going to leave these up there. Uh, first one is going to be the Zenkethi. The Zenkethi visuals, look at that. Oh man, I still love it. <laughs> yeah, this thing is definitely one of my favorite space sets out there. The Zenkethi are the bomb. I love these guys. And these visuals actually change color when they hit the light. It's like turning a little bit uh, greenish. Alright, next in line is going to be the uh, Discovery uh, visuals. Here we go. So those were basically all of the visuals that are currently in the game as of April 2018. Um, I'm going to cut the video right here and uh, let it play out on uh, the other part of the video that I recorded yesterday. So that shouldn't make any changes. Um, I think I'm going to... Um, no, hold on. Hold on. I need to do this. I totally forgot that. Um, okay, so we got three weapons on the front. Because I didn't cover this one. Three weapons on the front. We got a normal deflector impulse warp and a shield slot. We got three weapons on the aft with a 360 experimental weapon. Now, the hyper, um, hyper excited iron stream projector. 10% um, bonus damage per target hit. Now, this thing is going to fire off like like a beam across your ship or at least across the enemy and it's going to go through the enemy if it's going to hit anybody else uh in the in that line um it's basically going to chain off with a higher uh damage output plus 10 percent each target it's going to hit right all the way to the other one but the problem is like you know getting those uh getting your enemies uh, lined up uh, just like you know, um, 
just like ducks, you know, ducks go in line. So, <laughs> yeah, good luck getting your enemies up there like that. Um, all right, so we got two device slots and two device slots for devices and also two for engineering. We have room for four devices on the science uh, consoles and five for tactics uh, or for tactical consoles. So that's why I actually recommend this one above the uh, Vern class um, ship. Because this one you can do like traditional DPS with your beams, torpedoes and your uh, cannons and stuff like that. And it's definitely easier to fly by uh, this ship than the uh, Vern class. So we got, uh, let me also take a close, no, the masteries first. Uh, level 1, plus 5 in accuracy rating. Uh, level 2 is plus 15 in critical severity. That's really awesome. High, you know, high criticals. 2.5% in critical chance, so more critical hits on this thing. Very nice. Level 4 is going to increase your energy and kinetic damage. So you're going to dish out more energy-based damage and more torpedo-based damage with this thing. Plus 10% in both of them. And um, level 5, when you unlock this thing, 1.21 terawatts. And there was a comment saying that this uh, is like part of uh, Back to the Future related things. That's that's kind of that's kind of awesome. The 1.2 uh, terawatts, but I think it was 1.2 gigawatts or something like that in the movie, right? Or was it terawatts? I don't remember remember anymore. It's been a long time that I haven't seen that movie. But anyway, unlocking this thing is going to when um, when receiving electrical or radiation damage, uh, reduce recharge time on captain abilities by five percent, and maximum once per ten seconds. So, I don't know if this is going to be something that you guys want to unlock, but, yeah. Lingering radiation and lingering um, electrical damage is going to do its thing on this thing. Uh, universal console, the information right here. Uh, at passive, this thing is going to give us 10.7 starship control expertise and also 10.7 in starship uh Drain expertise with 5% in shield resistance. Very nice, very nice. Uh, the Manaham uh, effect activating mana creates two temporal duplicates of your ship. One for the future, one for the past. These duplicates are very close in power and abilities to yourself. But due to the quantum variance, they are never quite identical to you. Because of the unstable nature of this technology, these powerful duplicates can only be maintained in a short amount of time. Um, so this thing, after it's, um, the, um, the skill runs out, uh, its effect is going to give you, um, plus 100 damage resistance rating for the next 30 seconds, and it's going to give us a future and past quantum duplicates of your ship. And fragmented time, because I have all... <coughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Fragmented times, we can have the two a set piece of this thing to the triple rewind a time ability. All nearby foes become held and untargetable. Um, and I do want to showcase this thing right here in um, a three, two, one. Look at this thing go up. So we got a uh, one to the front. And one to the back. And it's the awesome thing about it is it just copies the uh, the ship itself. So um, the visuals that I'm currently having are also equipped with on this thing. So if I equipped my Zenkethi right here. And use this ability. All of these guys are also going to have the same visuals. And there they go. <laughs> I love that part. Um, there is also that rewinding time ability, the temporal bank snap. That does that. Also has this animation. I don't know if this animation is part of the tier 5 as well, though. And after this runs out, it basically does a uh, animation again to uh, get us where we were. So that's really nice. Um, 
Bridge Officer Station. Now, I went with this. Don't go with this as a build. There is no real thought going into this thing. So, you know, just saying. We have a Lieutenant Commander Universal Station right here that I used for uh, science. We have a Lieutenant Universal Station that I used for survivability. Or at least for this time, I actually used it to enhance my weapons. Um, we have two awesome tactical abilities right here. So, Captain Tactical Station and a Lieutenant Commander Tactical slash Temporal Ops Station and Ensign Engineering Station basically to help us survive a little bit longer. Now, one thing that I didn't showcase is uh, the Admiralty card, but let me look that up. So, here is the Admiralty card. We have four stars in its rarity. We have 29 points in engineering, 68 in uh, uh, tactical, and in science we've got 29 as well. I would definitely hope this, because this thing is science heavy, the science numbers right here, the points should be a little bit, you know, higher than 29, but that's just wishful thinking, I guess. Uh, 18 hours in maintenance or in cooldown. Um, the special ability on this thing is plus 8 in tactical, per engineering or science a ship so if you slot this thing with you know other ships as well you're going to get plus eight in tactical and if those ships are engineering and science that is going to apply to your uh, overall um overall number right here that it's going to be slotted Anyway, that's it for this part. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Uh, also, let me know if you enjoyed this map or not. And that's it. Let's continue the other part of the video. Here we go. For the combat, I am going to do the Japori uh, system patrol to showcase this thing. Um, like I said, don't use this as a build, guys. This is just something that I... Whoa! That was that experimental weapon. Now these missiles that you are seeing coming out of my ship that are exploding right here, that is not part of the ship, that is just a trait that I have. Wow, that is cool, that experimental weapon. That is like the... Um, the... Uh, what was it? The... Uh, man, I forgot the name. The, the lens... And it fired, it just fired up there. What the hell? There was no enemy up there. Uh, let me just heal myself a little bit. Before I die. Oh, here we go. So it's... Okay, so the line of this experimental weapon is basically from your ship all the way in the single line. Kind of like that. So whoever, you know, uh, enemies are go is going to be in that particular line is going to get hit. Here we go again. Look at that. It's basically just like the lens from the... Um, man, I forgot the ship that had that thing. So it only fires like on the front. Like everything that is like on the front gets gets hit, and this thing as well. So everything that's like from my ship to the enemy, if there is another enemy inside there at maximum of five, everybody is going to get hit. Nice. Wow, these guys are stripping away my hull like crazy. All right, um, let's do the uh, t oh. temporal back step. Or no, it was this one, right? The Manaham device, yeah. Alright, let's do that when my hull is a um, little bit lower. Alright, these guys are next. Okay, my forward shields are a little bit gone. Ooh, what was that? Big leg spike. Yeah, just push that ship right in front of my path. <laughs> Poseidon class. Alright, let me use this thing in 3, 2, 1. Alright, there we go. 
two quantum duplicates of myself. Oh, that one is actually healing my ship. With shields. Oh, the other one as well. Okay. So basically just like a uh, pirate um, distress call kind of situation going on. Plasma torpedo. Okay, those hit that one. Nice. I can also rewind time because I have the other one um, from the other universal console. Oh, we got an animation going backwards, backwards. Nice. I don't know if that animation is um, also on the tier 5 ships. Yeah, this thing is a beast, guys. Uh, don't think that, you know, um, that I'm not doing enough damage because my build is, you know, I don't have any skill points. Oh, what happened? Oh, I'm out of... Uh, okay, all right. Uh, I don't have, like, you know, the necessary skill points up here, the uh, right consoles, and these are just Mark 10s, all of my weapons. So this thing is definitely a beast. I would definitely recommend it to everybody that, you know, wants to deal out to DPS with these destroyers. It has a lot of, you know, science uh, console slots, so room for, you know, to enhance your science abilities. And primary is going to be, you know, uh, dealing DPS in the conventional way. So it basically has like a 4, 3, plus 1. So 5, 3 or 4, 4 uh, configuration like it is present right here. Uh, so this thing is, yeah, this thing is going to be a beast. Uh, especially with, you know, if you level this uh, mastery all the way up. Uh, level 4 is going to give you kinetic and... Uh, uh, energy based damage enhancement so definitely cool um what else what else can i say about this thing the bridge officer station is you know you got two tactical and two universal so you can definitely go crazy on that um yeah don't use this as a build this is not going to get you <laughs> really far in dps or anything related to that but yeah this thing is, uh, I'm, I'm really liking it for the price. You know, it's really good. If you don't have the low buy, wait for the price to go down on the exchange. They usually go about, you know, 300 million or something like that, these low buy ships. And uh, the console is good. Console, I like the console. But anyway, uh, let me close this video by saying I hope you guys had a little bit of fun entertainment coming out of my channel. I would definitely love to see you guys commenting this video with kind of visuals you actually enjoy. And I hope to see you on the next um, the next video that I'm going to make for the for the other ones. The Klingons, the Romulans still need to uh, make their appearance <laughs> on the channel. So I would love to see you there as well. For now, take care and uh, later.